Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. So today's video, we're going to be doing this My Favorite Thing sketch number, I want to say it's the WSC367. And this has already been measured out by um, Christina, or yeah, Christina Murcott. I got it from Pinterest and we're going to dive right on in. Um, I do change some of the measurements only because I like having a mat. Uh, for the bottom where she measured it four and a quarter by um, five and a half I'm going to change it up because I want to have an eighth of an inch border around the entire uh, card uh, of my card base so my measurements for the mat page is four and an eighth by five and three eighths and then I shrink the measurements down accordingly so like the one side I kept one and three fourths width, but I made the length uh, five and a quarter. So that way it would give me an eighth of an inch edge all the way around. And then the other uh, paper, the solid green one, I'm just gonna readjust this one real quick. Um, the solid green one, I measured to two and a quarter by, uh, the five and a quarter and so what that'll do is by making it a total of four inches with the pattern paper that's giving me an eighth of an inch around uh, all the sides and then in the middle where they don't connect I'm going to use those peel offs that I showed you first um, to kind of like hide that open spot and I'm going to line it up on the side and the top and the bottom as best I can and then press it down and any fuzzies I'm going to take off using my uh, little sand block there and I'm going to grab the widest um, stripe or strip I should say uh, that are on this peel off sticker and I'm leaving enough on the edge that I can tuck it underneath and that way I don't have to worry about anything peeling off and I'm just going to trim this down a little bit and put the extra piece back on this um, the peel off sheet because sometimes you never know you might just need a little bit peeking out somewhere because it's going underneath something and that little piece will work so no need to waste it so now I'm going to take my um, Tombow tape runner and put some tape down some art glitter glue and I'm going to get this base on because once you have the pieces that you want to have tucked underneath you're good to go and you can um, get it attached to the card base because everything else is just going to be on top of it so we're going to go ahead and put that down making sure it's even on the bottom and the sides and it'll automatically be a, a good distance all the way around all right now once that's down I'm gonna grab the focal image and on this one I changed it up because I added a bottom mat with the um, desert storm paper I want to say on the sheet itself it was something like two and three fourths by uh, two and uh, no, not two, by four, I think it's either four and an eighth or four and a quarter. I don't have it right in front of me at the moment. But what I did was, whatever that top white piece measurement was, I just went an eighth of an inch bigger on the pattern paper. And then I tried to go almost a quarter of an inch on the next one so that the um, Desert Storm cardstock would be just a little bit more peeking out then um, maybe the, the actual pattern paper because um, I just wanted that to peek out a little bit and I wanted that to really just help it stand off the page and then I'm putting the focal image which is a stamp that I did off camera I colored it using um, the Altenew 36 pan watercolor set and uh, I used the stamp of the month club uh, I just got it in and uh, it's the daffodils 
daffodil paint a flower um i'm on the subscription plan so i get one uh every month and this is the one that just came in um i want to say this one is for june so i had fun coloring that and then for the sentiment i'm gonna grab um a little uh, bit of the tailored expression um thin strips and I'm gonna have to cut that down a little bit. I cut it a little bit too long. And then we'll just get rid of that piece. And then we're gonna press it down. Now, I could have, you know, stamped something separate, lined it up on that one edge, just how it is on the sketch. But I, th that type of thing doesn't bother me. I'm like, I have these already pre-done and, and it's my sentiment all in one. And I think it turned out great. It didn't have to be right at the edge of the, focal image um i'm showing you this here i just got this dina wakely um it's the gloss white spray and i already had the distress and normally i wouldn't mind like doing a little bit of splatters on these but i'm gonna leave them alone and just go with them as is and we're gonna have some close-up pictures come in but i want to say real quick thank you guys for joining me today make sure you hit the like subscribe and share button and of course hit that little notification bell that'll let you know whenever i upload new content and you guys can you know check it out be some of the first to see it um and like i said leave comments down below i love reading them um when it's a massive amount of comments i don't comment on everybody uh but I do read them all and I enjoy um, corresponding and talking with you guys. So once again, here are links here to previous videos and I hope you guys have a great weekend.